some people would tell you that without the new technology we would ever be complying in terms of, of, of meeting the requirements regulators are putting on us. The second is that it, it makes everything more efficient in terms of regulator. Welcome back to this masterclass on taking digital banking to the next level. Now we're going to discuss the all-important question of using data and analytics. Helping us with this is Kaisha's Director of Strategic Development and Innovation, Mariona Vicenz. Mariona, thank you very much for joining us today. Tell us a little bit about what Kaisha Bank is doing in the data and analytics area. So Kaisha Bank has been active in uh, exploring what the technology is uh, bringing uh, on the, on, on, in, the, in the big data front since 2014. We've been uh, very active incorporating the latest technology because we saw the opportunity to apply specifically machine learning and advanced analytic analytics in three key areas. Okay, so tell us what they are. The first one is uh, how to better serve our customers. We see uh, analytics uh, providing an opportunity to increase revenue in different in different fronts. The second one is uh, how we improve actually also the margin of the business. We uh, have uh, some projects regarding pricing, also better risk scoring and better modeling uh, in risk in particular. The third area uh, would be uh, what relates to the organizational security, how we become more efficient as an organization, even HR can benefit from advanced analytics. So we see a trend that it's actually transforming uh, in a significant way companies uh, will operate in the future and it's basically applying to many different areas in the business. All right, let's, let's start with that first point on the, on the customers then. So uh, if I'm a Kaiser Bank customer, I mean, what can data do for me? What we had in the past is we've always um, been sitting in a significant amount of data. Uh, our leadership position in the market provide us a, a customer database uh, that the technology previously didn't allow us to exploit. Uh, what we have now is better informed decisions about where to assign a customer to a specific branch, for example. We also can provide better pricing a more yeah. targeted offer in different channels. And you can presumably design a product specifically for a, a customer set and then and then market it at that particular customer group. We are more micro-targeting or, or, or having our more customized products for smaller segments uh, instead of approaching a big, uh, a broad base of customers with just this, this, the same product. Okay, now you mentioned the key word for banks, which is, is, is margins. So how can this help you to improve the margins for the banks? I think it's, it's the same we were discussing now with more personalized uh, regarding uh, uh, pricing. So w what we are seeing more and more in the industry is practices that are quite uh, widely used in other industries like uh, airline uh, in terms of pricing, how you could apply some of these into, into banking in terms of pricing deposits, also doing more targeted uh, campaigns in terms of loan, consumer loan, it's another area where, where we see also um, more uh, need to be discriminatory in terms of pricing and this can have a significant upside in terms of margin for the bank as well. And what about on the compliance and regulation front, can it help with you there? In the context of increased regulation, increased requirements from the, the regula regulators to actually provide more and more data, uh, leveraging the new technologies is actually critical to be able to comply without collapsing the bank in a way. Because regulation is just growing and growing and growing. It will never end at this stage and it's becoming more and more uh, demanding. So I think... So this can help you to perform it in a much more sort of functional it, way, yeah? I think you, you would have two views, like some people would tell you that without the new technology we would ever be complying in terms of, of, of meeting the requirements regulators are putting on us. The second is that it, it makes everything more efficient in terms of regulator. Of course we also apply advanced analytics in, in that front, so in terms of um, what we need to look for and to the watch outs that we are required, um, we are doing that with uh, better techniques that would used to be five years ago, definitely. And finally, let's talk a little bit about how you can use data analytics in the security sense that you were talking about at the beginning. 
I think it's a similar case. Uh, the algorithms in the end work pretty well in many different fields. It doesn't matter if we are talking about behavior of uh, customers and, and identifying new opportunities, but we also apply the same a concept into identifying abnormal behavior that that could lead to fraud to fraud or to or to security concerns so i think that uh, in the end um, we are seeing more and more applications also that translates into reduce fraud for customers and for the bank also having an impact in the in the margin and of, of obviously reducing cost in that front as well Mariana, thank you very much for sharing your ideas thank with you us. okay perfect